Larry Kerwin from Black 47. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's my pleasure. I appreciate it. And we're here at Empire City Casino in Dan Rooney's Sports Pub, which I feel is very fitting for you. <laughs> I fit in any pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good response, actually. I think you and I have that in common, to be completely honest. But would you say that Black 47 really got their start in the Irish pubs in Manhattan? Give me a little background. Actually, uh, we got our start in the Irish pubs in the Bronx mm -hmm. on uh, 204th Street and Bainbridge Avenue. Um, we started in November 1989, and for whatever reason, people in the Bronx like live music. So we went up there, and they hated us. Uh, but we would get fired from one pub, and then we'd go to the next one and the next one. And then they after a while, we got... They hated you guys? What do you mean? Were they throwing beer bottles? Like, Well, they didn't actually throw beer bottles, but... we. Right from the start, we were determined to um, play original music. Mm -hmm. And at that time, all they wanted up there was cover music. So we were coming in on the pretense of being a cover band, but doing original. Mm -hmm. So they weren't that keen on it. On top of everything else, we were kind of loud and we were in your face. So we'd all come from the, uh, the CBGB's background, so we were used to projecting. Mm -hmm. Whereas guys wanted to go there with their girlfriends and have some music in the background. and. We, and that wasn't your style. That wasn't our style. You guys are an style. Irish rock band. That's kind of the complete <laughs> opposite of like romantic, you know, slow background music. Well, I think I'm very romantic. You're very, <laughs> very romantic. Yes, yes, you are. So, Larry, I mean, you guys have been around for 20 plus years now, right? 24 years. You've done countless albums, which right. we'll get to because you're putting one out right now. Yeah. Did you ever think back in 1989 when you were getting kicked out of one pub and going to another <laughs> that you would be here still performing today? Uh, I thought I might be still performing, but I wasn't sure that Black 47 would live that long because we formed basically for six weeks to fulfill uh, a set of dates that Chris Byrne, who was the, the original Piper and the founder of Black 47, uh, that he had those dates. So that was the idea that we would pretend kind of that we were the other band mm -hmm. and just show up. But then it, it took off pretty quickly. What we were doing, we were playing in Brooklyn and Queens and the Irish bars. And then it really took off when we uh, got a, a regular gig uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays in a place called Patty Riley's. So, you know, you guys really were the Irish rock band that kind of paved the way for bands like, you know, today that are really popular, like Dropkick Murphys and all those other kind of rock bands. What kind of advice do you have for them when they are saying, okay, we want to do this 20 years down the line? Just stay true to what you're doing. We we never changed. We were always determined to be um, an original rock band, and we had uh, political convictions, and we just... Uh, we did our own thing, and if you do that, you'll find that audiences show up because they, I think, even though some people may not like you, uh, the others will appreciate the honesty part of it. Not only, you know, you do Black 47, you have written plays, musicals, books, you have your own radio show on Sirius. Tell me about the radio show. It's called Celtic Crush, and it's on Saturday mornings from 7 to 10, and then repeated on uh, Tuesday nights. And it's basically a show where I take whatever music that might sound Celtic or has some uh, link to Celtic music and I talk about the music and then play it. Oh, cool. And just, uh, just be myself. And one of the things about being in the business for quite a while is that you, you tend to know a lot of the um, people you're playing. Mm -hmm. So without giving any intimate details away, <laughs> I, can, I can take people backstage and, right. uh, and then I just go in front of the microphone and talk. And isn't it nice just to go behind a microphone instead of being on stage every once in a while? You're like, oh, I just get to talk and I can slouch and I don't have to worry about what I look like. That's why I would love radio. So. Yeah, I love radio. Yeah. It's, radio is, is great. But there's nothing quite like being on stage and hitting that big first chord, uh -huh. too. You know. So, yeah. so it'll be kind of bittersweet because Black 47 is disbanding on November 15th. That's right. You even have a date when it's when it's all yeah. being put to rest. So let's bring up this beautiful last final album, which I think is great, Last Call. I mean, I can take a hint of why you called it Last Call, but why don't you tell me why you decided Last Call, this is what we're going to name it. Well, the, the band was sounding great about a year ago, and... Uh, I had this idea, and we were in Buffalo at the time, and I had this idea, this is a good time to um, to go out, and then I figured the dates ahead, and November uh, 
2014 would be exactly 25 years from our first gig in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So I approached the other guys and everybody thought this is a good idea. I mean, it was a year and a half away at that point. We what decided can, to do it. Yeah. What can your fans expect from this album? It's pure Black 47. Uh, I was trying to explain to Stephen. He was asking, what, how would you describe this music? And I don't know. It's, you know, <laughs> 24 years I've been trying to come up with a way to describe it, but in the end, it's just Black 47. It's well, Larry, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me today. We are so pumped for your performance, and you guys can check out Larry Kerwin and Black 47 and Shaylee Law on March 16th right here at Empire City Casino. Go to EmpireCityCasino.com to get tickets, and rain or shine, you'll be there. And don't forget Shaylee Law, because they're great buddies of ours and are just a wonderful band. So. It, when these two bands get together, it's a, a day to remember. Yeah, bring down the house. <laughs> Thank you so much, Larry. Pleasure, Doc.